Hello and welcome back to Shane's DIY. Uh, this is a, a, a uh, little addendum to the uh, launch mode programming I posted a, a couple of weeks ago for the RadioMaster TX16S. Uh, one of the commenters <clears throat> had a very good tip. I thought I'd um, show that to you guys and uh, also maybe elaborate a little bit on this, uh, this quote launch mode that I come up with. Um, you know, you can use it for a lot of different things, but uh, first let me show you the, the little tip he had on the, uh, <clears throat> on the programming. Basically shortens up the, the code by half, actually. Um, so anyway, this is my little test model I've got here. I use it for the simulator and stuff, but uh, so if you go into the model, <clears throat> we're going to go over to the logical switches first. So if you saw the previous video, I had a um, a comparator for plus mi one and minus one for the aileron and elevator. So if you moved the uh, elevator either direction uh, or the aileron either direction, it would do it. But uh, he pointed out that this particular code here, so I'll go into, eight, into uh, logical switch 10. We'll edit that. This top function here with the uh, the A with the brackets around it, that's an absolute value. So by using that one, um, and then you set so our ailerons and then use a, the value of one, if it goes to minus one or plus one with the same function, either one will trigger that because it's an absolute value of, of A. So that was pretty cool. So then I don't have to do the plus, minus, plus one and minus one. Save some code on that. Also, for the uh, OR statements, on previously I had three of them because there were so many logical switches I had to compare each pair of them before I could get to it. So now with just one using an absolute value of the uh, aileron and an absolute value of the elevator, you only need one OR statement. So if uh, L1 or, L, or L10 or L11 is triggered, so you can see if I move the aileron either direction, it turns that one on. If I move the elevator either direction, it activates that. Uh, I've got my T5 uh, trimmer set to activate this mode. So if I push that up, it sets the sticky down here on L13. And then to unstick it, it's looking at uh, the uh, L12 value. So if I move this either direction, deactivates it. You can turn it back on. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, so that shortened up that code by a lot. So I only have four there. Now if we go over to the um, special function, that's still the same. We've got uh, SF15 in my case set for that. Um, but a couple of thoughts on this. And one other um, possibility I thought for this, um, particularly if you have safe mode. I happen to have safe mode with the Spectrum uh, AR631 on, the, on my AeroScout. Uh, rather than using an elevator on this, if you went in here and you overrode the uh, aileron, so channel 2, so if I edited channel 1 instead, <coughs> then if I come out here and I activate my mode, it can be, uh, I would call it a loiter mode. So if I just, uh, I may not want 30 on the ailerons, but uh, let's go to channel monitor. So now if I activate that, if you'll see my aileron over here, oh wait, it's still on channel 2, what did I do? Now it's on channel 1. Now if I activate that, what I would call now a loiter mode, I'll turn that on. See, now it gives me a aileron. So if you had safe mode, for example. Now, if you don't have safe mode, you could, you could mix some aileron and an elevator, rudder, whatever you needed to, uh, to get this thing to do circles. But with safe mode, it automatically tries to keep you at a, a level flight. So if you just give it a little bit of aileron, um, say you, you know, get a bug in your eye or something, <laughs> you could activate your loiter mode, and it would just sit there and do circles for you for quite a while. I mean, it, eventually it might come, come down if, uh, if you're not keeping an eye on it, but it would probably buy you some time. You could sit there and let it circle above you, and then as soon as I move my stick either direction, it deactivates that, and then you're back to control. So 
Anyway, just another thought of that logic. Just wanted to open up your, op broaden your horizons with these. Uh, the, the logic in these things is so limitless. You can do whatever you, whatever you can think of. If you can dream it up, you can probably do it with these, with these transmitters. It's really cool. So, anyway, just a short addendum to that. Uh, wanted to appreciate the commenter that uh, gave me that tip. Figured I'd share it with you guys. Help you to uh, do more efficient programming. <clears throat> and. Uh, get you to think outside the box and uh, utilize this transmitter to uh, to its maximum potential. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, get out there and fly your RC planes. Take care.